there's a lot of people that are worshiping the extreme opposite. We see it all around us, the evil. I mean, look, it's October. There's demonic symbols everywhere, and it's gently been worked into a holiday that is promoted. So just start with your creator and then you will reject the evil and you will awaken to him and wherever that takes you. And for many of us, that has taken us to the Savior, Jesus Christ. All I see, by the way, is candy in, uh, in October, but that's fine. <laughs> you know, we were talking about that yeah. coming up here. As kids, we only knew trick or treat. But when you become an adult and you open your eyes, you look around and you see all the demonic everywhere. You go, wait, wait, this is not candy. And in the time when people are censored and suppressed, we've watched it. We watched it from the beginning, them get censored and suppressed. So here we come, like-minded people come together for the first time. We're not afraid to talk to each other. We're talking about God, just plain creator. Everybody has one has him. No matter your religion, there's a God. We're patriots, we're God, we're country, we're family, we're people. And we've been manipulated to be divided by skin color, by religion, by gender now. Uh, everything is dividing us. I think everybody's on a journey to a relationship with cr the Creator. And there's steps all along the way. And you start out protecting your little view until you realize it's all around the world. The Creator created everyone. Muslims, Hindu, everyone. They call it something else. But when we get to the bottom line, God is in control of all of us. And we better wake up and reawaken Him. And in this country, we were founded on the principles of God, country, family, freedom. Is your life better today than it was two years ago? Are your children being attacked, genderized? Are your, is your gas prices up? Have you lost your IRA and your retirement account? If those things can bring you together here, you would be a MAGA too. Protecting freedom is kind of like protecting a, an empty space. It's like setting up a fence around a space and promising people that in the future something good will occupy that space. And the natural human tendency is to want to fill that space and to put something there that doesn't exist. So everyone's got an agenda that they want to push forward and it's, it's antithetical to freedom. Freedom is sort of the absence of that. Right, but if, if you feel like you brought up transgender uh, Americans, um, if you f they don't feel free and they're asking for freedom to live the way that they feel they were born, um, and why should we reject that culture? Well, it's not that we should, okay, so two, there's kind of two questions there. It's not that we need to reject the culture, it's that we need to give them help because they're, they're very confused individuals. I mean, men and women have always existed since the beginning of time. They're separate. There's a, it's a binary system. And I know that's not popular to say right now, but that's what's so unfortunate. I mean, we're, we're losing our, our grip on common sense. I mean, everyone has known this for in every corner of the globe throughout all of human history until about two minutes ago. And, you know, Bill Maher brought up a great point. He said, if this is such, if this transgender movement is so um, universal and, and it's only coming out now because it's more accepted, then why is it regional? Why is it not happening in places like Ohio? Why is it happening mostly in L.A.? Why is it happening in, in places where you have these leftist ideolo ideolo ideologues who are pushing this agenda? So if it were something that were truly organic and grassroots, it, it would have come out a long time ago. And well, except the argument against that would be that, and historically, I mean, the gay rights movement was centered in, in Greenwich Village and the Castro uh, in, in San Francisco uh, because they, were, they felt less persecuted in those places because of an acceptance, right? And, and so if you're in Ohio, it might be more difficult in a small town, in a religious place, in a, a place that was uh, where you knew everybody in town. You go to a big city, you can get lost in a big city and be who you are. That's what they would say. We want to give them help, honestly, okay, because they're murdering themselves at a rate of 42 percent, and that's before transitioning. After transitioning, it sometimes gets worse.
So these are people that need help because they're confused. I mean, look, take any kid from middle school, okay, and ask them how they feel about themselves. They're going to be insecure. They don't. They can't get a date. Maybe they're not very successful with girls or whatever the situation is. And then tell them it's okay. We understand. It's because you're uh, actually a, 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 a female trapped in a male body or vice versa. Okay, it's a very convenient excuse. It requires no proof whatsoever. It's not measurable. It's not testable. There's no standards. And if you convince someone that that's, that's the root of the problem, of course they're going to go along with gender reassignment surgery and chemical castration and you know hormone replacement and all this other nonsense. And they're going to be permanently damaged. And we're seeing a lot of people that are now trying to detransition from the bad choices that were forced upon them by supposedly caregivers and parents at an earlier age. And it's really tragic. Nationwide freedom family, global freedom movements for everybody, all our unalienable rights that cannot be taken by any man, woman, or voted away from you. You were born in sovereignty, keep your sovereignty. Natural law is sovereignty. Law of the land, and let us all be free. Let us all be one body, one family, one freedom for all. Equality for equality. Never leave a brother or sister behind. Put all our egos aside. Put all our differences aside. Put all our pride aside. And let's all stand beside each other's side. And let's go win this. Let's take back our freedoms, our liberties, our pursuit to happiness. And let's be one. And let's be unified. In one movement, one motion, one freedom for all. Love, light, and life to all. Beside and stay and remain beside your brothers and sisters. We are all brothers and sisters in the creation of our almighty source. And we are the resource of his source. And we need to be the good stewards and resource onto others beyond our own limits. Excel beyond your limits and you will reach riches that you would never, ever thought of reaching before. God bless you.